We all know that Hanukkah is eight days long because the oil miraculously lasted for eight days. But since there was sufficient oil to burn for one day, the miracle was only seven days. Why celebrate the first day? The answer goes to the essence of the ideological battle between ancient Greece and Judaism. The Greeks only recognized that which they could measure within the universe. If there is a God, he is divorced from the world and has nothing to do with guiding events. Judaism, in contrast, believes that God not only created the universe, but is constantly sustaining it. And he is ultimately the cause for everything that happens in our world. Nothing is random. There are no coincidences. Therefore, everything is really a miracle. The only reason oil burns even one day is because the Almighty makes it burn. He's behind everything. So even the first day of the oil burning is a miracle. This past summer, I witnessed this firsthand. It was an extremely hot afternoon, and I was locked outside the synagogue with 15 other men waiting to go inside to pray. One man said that over the past 30 years, he has never seen the synagogue locked like this. It was getting late, and one man yelled out, Gentlemen, we'll have to pray right here in front of the shul. As we all prayed together, wiping the sweat from our faces, a jeep pulled up in front of us. The driver got out, walked towards us, and suddenly fell to the ground. He was unconscious. We ran over to him, and a doctor in our group said that he had a cardiac arrest and began resuscitation. Another man called an ambulance, which arrived minutes later. A police officer arrived and asked if anyone else was in the car. No one had even thought about that. After finding the man's car keys, the officer rushed to the car and saw a two-year-old girl drenched in sweat, harnessed in a car seat in the back. He quickly unbuckled the child and took her out into the fresh air. We stood there in shock, realizing that this little girl could have suffocated in the intense heat of the closed car. Thank God the man began to regain consciousness. The child's mother arrived and we watched her cry as she held her daughter in her arms. After hearing why we were all outside, right when her husband collapsed, she said that a true miracle had taken place. Had the synagogue been opened like every other day, her husband and daughter may not have survived. The Greeks would have viewed this as a coincidence. We all felt that we had personally witnessed a miracle. Albert Einstein said, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. As you light your menorah, remember, everything has a purpose. Nothing is random. And look for the miraculous embedded in every day.